Um, now, Joe, this week you performed at the same event that Josh and Alex were at. You sang Silent Night. Yes, I did. Um, I've got to tell you, I was side of stage when that performance was happening, and yeah. I can't tell you how shit it was. <laughs> It was a charity event, and I felt by the end of it, the charity were like, we don't need the money. <laughs> <laughs> they were pissed, he was off key, it was awful. <laughs> off key is kind. <laughs> yes. um, while we're talking politics, and we have just been, um, I have to ask you, why do you keep dressing as Theresa May on Twitter? Because she's a style icon. <laughs> but I'm obsessed with her. Basically, people tweet me saying that they think I've got the same face as her. Oh, I see. Right. And so I took it to um, as, as far as I could take it. Well, so... we've got a few of your photos. Here's the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I like to use whatever's nearby. So, as you can see there, the hair is a mushroom. Yeah, yeah. That's just a, a bag for yeah. the hair. Yeah, and um, the last one? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a amazing. little project I've had, you know. I, I said it a couple of weeks ago, I'll say it again. Theresa May in that looks like she's going to read your fortune. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And look, we've been talking about Brexit for so long, hopefully by next Tuesday there is a chance that the whole Brexit debate will be done. This might be the last time we ever talk about Brexit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, probably not, probably not, to be fair, but since it is the season to be jolly, let's recap the last two and a bit years of what Brexit has brought us. In the two years of Brexit, it has given me 12 Tories, 1 in 11, resignations 10, Arlene Foster's 9, Lords are sleeping 8, People's Protest 7, Angry Tabloid 6, Labour Test 5, Day Debate 4 Red Lines 3, Brexit Secretaries 2 PM. And an apocalypse in 2023. <laughs>